Welcome back to an episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, well, it's Labor Day weekend out here, so we should be at our cottage uh, with the last trip of the year at our cottage before we start school, but we already started school. You know it's a weird year, you know. With everything that's going on, we are unfortunately not allowed to go to our cottage because the Canadian border is still closed. But anyways, I thought I'd still give you guys some cottage experience with this video today. I'm going to take some clips from previous years at the cottage, like previous cottage videos. And if you guys want to check those out, you know, just go to my channel, scroll down back up year or two and in the summertime you'll see a ton of those videos i know all of my new subscribers from this year you have never yet experienced the cottage video so i'm gonna give you a little taste of what it's all about and hopefully next summer we'll be back out there and let's get right on into it welcome back to an episode of walleye bro <laughs> what the heck just want a net <laughs> and today, well, we're back at our cottage, as you can see. Yeah. And I just caught this freaking walleye on a jig. So, yeah. I, <laughs> I'm very confused. Catch you guys on the wrist and get a few pictures here. So, there we go. All right, Kevin just caught this one. It's actually a little chunker. I almost flipped the yak. Didn't yeah. get a weight on him. And this wind is outrageous. You have a little shirt off. Yeah. 2.6 so almost two and a half pounds there you see yeah pretty nice one all right all right big becky go so i deserve for getting skunk twice and i'm just hot oh my God. sir do every time i'm just about to start the camera i just get one got on the lip list here all right, and up and he goes, and now back in the water he goes. Got him. It's a, the biggest one of the trip. Well, my second one of the trip, <laughs> but this could eat Kevin's. <laughs> the nice one on the red lipless crankbait here. Love me some red liplesses. Don't know why, but I just like the red color. It just seems to work for me. Yep. That's. Yo, that's a good one. It's actually a good one. And it's on a Ned rig. This isn't this isn't what we like to see. Don't come off, buddy. Don't come off. Let's go. Let's go. Let me grab the scale real quick. Two pounds, six ounces. It's around two and a half. That's a good, that's a nice one right there. Two and a half pounds. Let me get a slow-mo release on this boy, cause why not, so. Yep, he's taking it, he's taking it. Yep. Oh shoot. That's a pike. Yep, that's a pike. Yo dude, it's a pike! Oh no. It's my first pike of the year. Ah! There it is. Oh shoot. That's a, a decent pike right there. Don't flop. Chill out. I'm gonna take a few pictures. Oh, ah! Chill. Ugh. This slimy beast. Put my rod in there. Okay, let me hold him up for you guys. There we go. Nice pike right there. But this is actually another decent one. Oh, that's another pike. <laughs> I got it. It's another pike. Now nah, I got him. Gonna go this way. Yo, it's my second pike. Let's just get it out. Ah, uh, chill out. And he's in the back of my yak. Okay. After technical difficulties, I got him. We got him out. We're gonna let him go before this guy dies. And he's out, buddy. And that was the most difficult fish I've ever had to take off. Oh yeah, there we go. Another one. Dang, they're really hitting the spinner. 
Let's go. Another little guy, but I'll take him. And there's a little guy right here. And but oh, I'm hooks. We'll let him go over here. All right, peace out. I just hooked myself. Literally insane. It's hail, like it stings my back. These people's canoe flew out. We got one of them, but <clears throat> it's insane. I've never seen this bad. It's a little river over there. There we go. This is lovely. Oh, we're making the best out of what we got. <laughs> Welcome back to an episode of Gar Bros, I guess. I somehow caught this gar on the Canadian spoon Darren's Northern Life sent me, so pretty cool start to this day, and we're gonna let him go. Let's go, boy. We doubled on dinks. That's how we do it out here. Ah, bro, <laughs> did you hear that? That boy slapped me. Peace out. Have a great night. Oh, yeah. Look at that boy. It's nice to finally see one of these guys alive because we saw him seen at least like 50 of them dead. Well, I think I'm, I penetrated his gill. Yeah. I really got to touch this. <laughs> this boy was about six pounds we weighed him. And now time to let Big Timmy go. Imagine catching a bass this big, that'd be crazy. Oh, six pound bass? I can't even imagine that. Be free. Go back and do catfish things. Yes, sir. See, now that just feels like a good bass. That's a nice one right there. Look at that monster. Yeah, that's probably pushing three. Two pounds, 12 ounces, so... Four pounds off, <laughs> four pounds. Three, four ounces off three pounds. <laughs> so, all right. It's a big mama over here. Big, big mama Tim is piecing out. Oh. Well, there it is, laddies. <laughs> Got this big cat here. And I would let him go. Ay, ay, ay. I said I would, I, I, I am gonna let him go. He's biting me, you freaking peasant. Ah! Oh, something stuck at it, yep. Got him, on the popper, on the popper. Come here, boy. Oh, heck yeah. Yep. Second popper fish of the night. All right, another little guy on the popper, so that's kinda dope. Always love it. And some top water, and have a beautiful night, young sir, or ma'am. Finally got this boy. All right, well, I got this dink boy. Kevin's got a better one. And then Danny's got one over there. We just tripled, bro. Yo, low key, we gotta take a triples pick. This is pretty rare. All right, so Danny just caught this nice uh, sheep head, um, the Ned rig, or for those who call it freshwater drum, there you go. Whatever your preference is, but we just always call them sheep head, so, yep. Nice, nice little guy right there. This. And you gotta like really like you gotta help these guys. <laughs> okay, come on. And there he goes. All right, look at that nasty thing. And he kind of like gobbled it, so I gotta take him off of the players. So the players. go get him. Yo, look at this. This is like an absolute like brute of a bluegill. Like I just caught this guy on a netrick and like in its in its mouth. Yeah, my GoPro died, but I just wanted to come on to say, Danny, I doubled up on smallmouth, and this is the fifth time we've doubled up this morning. So we're kind of going crazy right now. Oh, that was a junk weed right there. Just went right in it. Oh, yep, there's one in it. Oh. Come here, buddy. Oh, all right. There we go, another guy here. And see you later, man. We're doing a little ice fishing rod challenge. Me versus Danny, so we're gonna see how that goes. Never caught a bass on an ice fishing rod yet, so this is gonna be the first time experience. Kind of sad. 
first one on the ice fishing rod. It's a little guy, but it's a nice one. It's a beauty. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, I got one here. Let's go. All right, currently. All right, Danny's got one, so it's now would make it two to one. He's up on me, but at least I got on the board. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't be a rock one. Yes, and that one be. No, that is game. No, no. <laughs> Ended on a pretty good one. There we go. Ah. Oh my gosh, calm down, buddy. Got him. All right, laddies. What is that hook set? Okay, we got him. There we go. We ended off on this nice one to end the challenge here. I took home the ice fishing rod challenge dub. There we go. Oh God. Yeah. No way. No way, boys. We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. No way. I literally took a cast like, no joke, like 10 feet from my kayak. Please don't come off. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Oh, shoot. Let's see who's got like eggs on it or something. But anyways, look at that beauty. It's my first one of the trip. It took, this is the second kayak trip. So honestly, it's not that bad. You know, it got skunked once, but that's okay. Last time I've caught one under a dock was. Oh my gosh. That is, feels like a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh my gosh. I'm legit shaking right now. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please don't come off. Please don't come off, please don't come off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, please don't come off. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This could be, oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lord, this is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, holy, oh my gosh, my heart rate. Oh my gosh, I can't even, oh my gosh. Holy frick. Oh my goodness gracious. If this isn't a five pounder, I don't know what is. Four pounds, seven ounces. That is my new PV right there. My new PV, boys. Four and a half pounds. How is this not five pounds? Do you see? So hope you guys enjoyed that little montage there of some previous years at the cottage. Actually, all those were from 2019, so it was all last year at the cottage. And I will have the links to all the videos that I used in this video. If you guys want to go check those out for yourself, watch the whole video or whatnot. Beware, the audio and stuff is kind of bad, but you know, I didn't have this mic here that I have right now. But if you guys want to see more montages from uh, previous year at the cottage or previous videos, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, stay tuned. Till next time on Bass Bros.